I'm Zenpai, and as usual, I'd like to read you all a little fireside story. So, gather round. Well, here we are again for the third year in a row. So come along for a journey, of course, with Chat and Toe. Once again, I racked my brain for how to repay the love you have all shown, and typed story after story till my fingers were worn to the bone. Do I tell a personal story or recap the world at large? Perhaps I should try something new and take charge. But alas, here we are once again in this holiday time, as I once again read to you all another holiday rhyme. So let us take a journey through the year, and I might even let slip some personal information I hold dear. 2021, the sequel that no one asked for. A year that was almost as bad as the one that came before. The COVID cases exploded with new variants coming with weird names, while people online made various silly claims. There was fighting and turmoil year long to say the least, but our hope and faith in the world never did decrease. A ship named Evergreen would get stuck in the Suez Canal, an event that would only exacerbate the supply shortage and the ever-diminishing morale. The perseverance and integrity made it onto the surface of Mars with nary a hitch. However, they would soon find themselves dealing with a ground-drilling glitch. SpaceX launched the first successful private rocket with people aboard into space, while a look of anger and jealousy crept over Jeff Bezos's face. Western Canada would have hundreds of fires sweep across it caused by lightning, while a record-breaking heat wave overtook America that was truly frightening. The Tokyo Olympics were finally held and we got to see the world truly come together. Always a shame to see a beautiful act of sportsmanship that wouldn't last forever. Mr. Beast announced his incredibly ambitious Team Seas project, to which you have all helped tremendously out with and have all earned my respect. As usual, there were many downs throughout the year, but allow me to take a moment for those who are no longer here. Plenty of political things happened this year, but I won't be naming any though. Since I think we've all had enough hearing about it, so let's get back on that happy Christmas flow. This year I took a trip that made me realize many things, mainly that my chat is filled with queens and kings. You see, even though I was gone, that abstinence made my heart grow fonder. Thinking of all the good times that we've had, while across the island I began to wander. I thought of the happiness and good times that we all share. Because when I am with you, it feels like a breath of fresh air. No matter how crazy things get or how messed up the world may be, you have always shown kindness and have been there for me. It feels as if just yesterday I started this journey on Twitch. Neptunia, Persona, Doom, Half-Life, and even hanging out in Animal Crossing on the Switch. No matter the game or what mood I may be in, strength, kindness, and courage are all traits that you have that shine from within. I have said it many times before, but allow me to repeat. You are all the light of this world, and that is no mean feat. In every action that you take, and everything that you do, I still wish you all the very best in life. That still holds true. No matter if you stay, leave, 
or feel as if there is a part of yourself that may lack, just remember that no matter what happens, the Help Squad's always got your back. So allow me to thank you all for this amazing year. It's been hectic and uplifting, so I'm glad that you are all here. The holidays are always a time that reminds me how much I love you all, even if the ways that I try to show it at times can seem somewhat small. As always, when I am with all of you, I feel truly blessed. So once again in life, I wish you all the very best. This brings me to the time where we must now close out the year, and maybe even tie one on with a round of beer. So as always, I wish to speak with you all one final plight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.